I know, we're out of the basement today because we're out at Revolution Hair Studios in South Milwaukee because we're getting a hair did. And I thought I'd bring you with because these are some of the best stylists I know of. And they do an amazing job with vintage styles, cuts, even modern colors and vintage colors. And um, if you can make it out to Milwaukee, that's great because you can just come here and get all the gorgeous things done to your head. But what if you can't get out here? So we're going to talk to one of my favorite people, Natalie, and find out exactly it is. How do you approach your stylist about getting a midi cut uh, or even about getting Betty Bangs? Some questions to ask or what to ask for and get some of your questions answered today. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's go get the hair process started, shall we? And oh my God, do you, do you see this place? Seriously. Seriously. This is Natalie. Hello. She's going to be the one giving us all the great information today and cutting the hairs. And where are we right now, by the way? At the Revolution Hair Studio. And where can we find this place? Uh, in South Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So the first thing I'm going to do with Natalie is actually talk about what I want and I'm just going to kind of give her the floor and give her free reign. She knows that you guys, your stylists aren't going to have the knowledge she has. So she's going to talk about what you should be telling them about how to cut for the mini. So a mini is a very exact haircut. It's not like some haircut that you get out of school and you need extra training to do. A midi is a textbook haircut. Anybody who has been through any kind of beauty school, apprenticeship program, anybody who has any, had any kind of formal training can do a midi. Anybody who tells you that they don't know how to do a midi is not reading the diagram. Like, pure and simple. Because a um, lot of times I think they get scared by it because it's like a, a step. Because the it's because the exact measurements on it are so different from the cuts that we do today. I mean, to leave, you know, it's scary for a stylist who's never met you before to, t to have somebody tell you that they want, you know, this much length in the back and then with a real midi, like, take it up that high in the front. That's scary to them. They're, like, convinced that you're going to come in not long after, you know, very upset that you've messed up their hair. It's, it's scary. But if you go to a style, you know, I guess I would never suggest going into a brand new stylist right off the bat and being like, here's a diagram, this is what I want. I would go and get a trim first. Let the person that's going to be doing your hair know that this is your lifestyle, this is what you dig, this is what you do. And the next time, you know, make your next appointment with them. Be like, okay, so on my next trim, I'm, I know what I want to do. I'm going to bring you in a diagram. And here is a closer look at that diagram. My haircut is based more on the midi plus hairstyle, which is a little bit longer than the midi. And I've included a picture of the gorgeous Hedy Lamar to kind of give you an idea of the length and uh, the style of the midi once it's done. And you will find a link in the description to my Facebook page, which has the midi plus screenshot up there. So you can grab that if you want to bring to your stylist. Oh, yeah. Let's set it for five weeks from now and go in and get it done. I mean, give them some fair warning if it's a brand new stylist. If it's a regular stylist that you've been going to for a while and you want to try something new, um, bring in the diagram. If they tell you that they can't read it, they're not being truthful. At the very least, at the very last ditch, ditch effort, I would say, go to a school. A school because those girls in school are learning to read those diagrams. In the textbooks that they give you in beauty school, there are textbooks. They have straight up like diagrams just like that, teaching them how to do certain haircuts. And they will follow that to a T. As long as you're like, look, this is what I want. And you know, an instructor is going to come over and check that haircut. And if it's not to the diagram and you're telling the instructor, this is what I want, the instructor will also know how to read a diagram and fix it for you. So what I have happened a lot mm -hmm. is that even when I would take a diagram to somebody, they still give me just a layered cut. Because they don't, they don't they were looking at it. Then they weren't looking at it. Because that is not just a layered cut. I mean... That diagram that everybody finds when you Google mini style, something down the So that diagram is 
there's no way to if you're actually reading it it's straight up telling you how big your sections are supposed to be it's one and a half sections one and a half inch sections on the back if they're not giving you the cut that is in that diagram they either forgot how to read a diagram like for real can't read their math that pertains to their career which is kind of scary <laughs> um or they're not reading it and all be all advice in a nutshell would be don't go to a stylist the first time and ask for it it's probably not going to happen unless it's a place you know i mean look around unless it's a place like this where we know you know you yeah, heard that somebody knows there. what they're doing there with that particular haircut you heard that they do vintage styles you heard that they do funky styles you know not even like necessarily vintage but funky styles they're willing to take some risk with with their fine talent but one other thing i talked to natalie about as well is she knows i like to she knows me so she when i i'm like i want to go this short when it's pearl because that's one thing to think of if you're going this short when it's pearl it's going to be a heck of a lot shorter but she also knows that i like to do victory rolls so she's like well maybe we should go a little bit longer so that you can still get that up into the victory roll so those are things you, you're going to really want to think about with the mini cut is what you want out of it. If you just want to do the curls every day and the waves, then you're good to go. But if you're going to be doing a lot of different updates and victory rolls, it's something to think about as well. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and get to the... <laughs> What's the best way to communicate to a stylist or not? I mean, we talked about bringing the mini diagram. Photos. Photos. Because a photo, a picture isn't going to be hard to describe. Because you're going to have it right there and show them. A picture, seriously, that is the best way to tell a stylist that you want something. I know a lot of people have problems giving money bags. Mm -hmm. Like even if you bring in a picture of Benny Page, a lot of times you don't end up with Benny Bangs. Yeah, you end up with like straight across weird bangs, mom bangs. Um, bring in a more exaggerated photo of quote unquote Betty Bangs. Something where they're a bit rounded in the middle because then you're going to get the kind of bangs that you're looking for. Is there a way to save bangs that are badly cut that are Betty Bangs? Yes, because when bangs are badly cut, they're probably cut too straight across, and the way to do that bangs is to slightly round them up on the side. And so, if they're badly cut, you can probably go in and just round up those sides, and it'll change it completely. So if you just tell your stylist that they cut them straight across, just tell them to round up the yep. sides. Can you take the sides up a tiny bit? Just stay back. They should be able to take care of it for you. Now, what's the difference that um, regular layers versus more of mini layers? What's the main difference you'll see? Like, if somebody doesn't want to go full on mini, <coughs> how do you want long layers and you want your layers to fall all generally together at the bottom of the perimeter? You want layers around the perimeter. Layers around the perimeter? Mm -hmm. Because layers today are really short layers up to the crown, and then they chase it down. And you might have long, you know, really short layers from here and a bit of a disconnect, and then it's really pretty in layers from here. Well, the mini is like the opposite of that. All your layers are going to be really centered around this area on the bottom, and then you're going to have some shorter layers in the front. Um, layers today are going to be longer layers around the front and shorter layers Crown, the exact opposite. Oh, interesting. You always hear about people that like have hair. Everybody has, almost everybody has hair. <laughs> Somewhere on your body. Um, like keeping it, keeping it healthy. Well, like keeping it on your head. Like, yeah, keeping it on your head. For real, use professional products. Use a good shampoo. You don't have the budget for it, though. Okay. Scruples. <laughs> Their shampoo is twelve dollars. Like a regular size of regular shampoo that you know, okay, like the five at Walmart or something is like two bucks. But then your hair stays intact. 
you know, True. it's not that much more. There's totally always going to be a professional brand that you can find that will be, I mean, it's not like you have to spend like $30 on a bottle of shampoo to make your hair second break off, you know? And if you're committing to having it light and you're having it a certain way, you have to commit to the care of it. Oh, one thing with a mini haircut, don't let anybody be trying to blend it up with like point cotton or anything. So it's going to wreck the whole don't look up the haircut. It means after they're done, if you see them start going into your haircut like this, oh. you see them flipping and uh -huh. taking, putting some texture in the uh -huh. hands, that's bad. It happens to me all the time. Okay, well, what they they're don't, doing? They don't think I. They don't think I don't want it. Yes. Merged. Yep. Because the mini haircut is a haircut you have to style all the time. It's not something that you can just leave hanging straight. And so they're thinking that they want to make it more wearable for you. And so they're going to blend it with putting texture in the ends. And what happens when you do that is when you go to curl it. You get all these like fluffy, weird kind of like ends that look all like, um, what's the word for it? Like feathery. Oh! And you want your ends with the vintage styles to be very full and blunt. All right, so we did so well, we actually ran out of juice on the other camera. That's how much good information we have. But this, yeah, the, there's Natalie doing all the hard work in the background. Sweep it, girl. Um, but this is the final unstyled look. And you can really, really see um, the bluntness of the layers down here. Yes, I am now repeating everything Natalie says to me because she's, she's got so much good information. There's the... I feel like you can really see it on the back. And I will show you this once it's styled as well. That is it. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's hair tutorial and found it helpful. For all the information for Revolution Hair Salon in Milwaukee, we'll find it in the description box below. Go visit them. They do wonderful haircuts. And, of course, if you have questions, go ahead, leave them in the comment section. I will go ahead and either do a follow-up video or we'll get those questions answered. I absolutely love my midi haircut. Now, here's the thing though. If you're going to be wearing your hair straight a lot, the majority of the time, it is going to look a lot more blunt and it's not really going to wear well as a straight haircut. And my number one thing about a midi haircut that I absolutely love is there is it's it's this curl framing, how it goes all the way around the head. Because with a layered cut, I would often have gaps in my hair that I'd have to back comb or really, really work to make sure those gaps were closed. I don't have that problem with the midi. It really is just a brush and go kind of hairstyle, which as Natalie said, is kind of what the midi was designed to be. And um, if you don't want to miss anything going on here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. That'll let you know when new videos have been posted up on this channel. But if you really want to make sure none of that weird YouTube subscription stuff screws you up, go ahead and hit that little notification bell next to the subscribe button that will actually email you or do little notifications to be like, hey, Vintage Vanity just posted a video. And that way you never miss a video. Arr. <laughs> As always, if you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. And I will see you soon. So have a great day. Bye.